the politics of the Cook Islands, an associated state, takes place in a framework of a parliamentary representative democracy within a constitutional monarchy. The Queen of New Zealand, represented in the Cook Islands by the Queen's representative, is the head of state, the Prime Minister is the head of government and of a multi-party system. The islands are self-governing in free association with New Zealand, and are fully responsible for internal affairs. New Zealand retains some responsibility for external affairs, in consultation with the Cook Islands. In recent years, the Cook Islands have taken on more of its own external affairs, as of 2005, it has diplomatic relations in its own name with 18 other countries. Executive power is exercised by the government, while legislative power is vested in both the government and the island's parliament. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislatures. The Constitution of the Cook Islands took effect on August 4, 1965, when the Cook Islands became a self-governing territory in free association with New Zealand. The anniversary of these events in 1965 is commemorated annually on Constitution Day, with week-long activities known as Te Meva Nui celebrations locally. The monarch is hereditary, her representative is appointed by the monarch on the recommendation of the Cook Islands government. The cabinet is chosen by the Prime Minister and collectively responsible to Parliament. Ten years of rule by the Cook Islands Party came to an end November 18, 1999 with the resignation of Prime Minister Joe Williams. Williams had led a minority government since October 1999 when the new Alliance Party left the government coalition and joined the main opposition Democratic Party. On November 18, 1999, NAP leader Dr. Tarapai Mowat was sworn in as Prime Minister. He was succeeded by his co-partisan Robert Wunden. When Dr. Wunden lost his seat in the 2004 elections, Jim Marurai took over. In the 2010 elections, the SIP regained power and Henry Puna was sworn in as Prime Minister on November 30, 2010. Following uncertainty about the ability of the government to maintain its majority, the Queen's representative dissolved Parliament midway through its term and a snap election was held on September 26, 2006. Jim Marurai's Democratic Party retained the Treasury benches with an increased majority. The New Zealand High Commissioner is appointed by the New Zealand government. The Parliament Building of the Cook Islands, formerly a hotel. The Parliament of the Cook Islands has 24 members, elected for a five-year term in single-seat constituencies. There is also a House of Ariki, composed of chiefs, which has a purely advisory role. The Kautu Nui is a similar organization consisting of sub-chiefs. It was established by an amendment in 1972 of the 1966 House of Ariki Act. The current president is Taitika Matapo Doris Reed. On June 13, 2008, a small majority of members of the House of Ariki attempted a coup, claiming to dissolve the elected government and to take control of the country's leadership. Basically we are dissolving the leadership, the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister and the Ministers, Chief Make of Akatini Joseph Ariki explained. The Cook Islands Herald suggested that the Ariki were attempting thereby to regain some of their traditional prestige or mana. Prime Minister Jim Marori described the takeover move as ill-founded and nonsensical. By June 23, the situation appeared to have normalized, with members of the House of Ariki accepting to return to their regular duties. The judiciary is established by Part 4 of the Constitution, and consists of the High Court of the Cook Islands and the Cook Islands Court of Appeal. The Judicial Committee of the Privy Council serves as a final Court of Appeal. Judges are appointed by the Queen's representative on the advice of the Executive Council as given by the Chief Justice and the Minister of Justice. Non-resident judges are appointed for a three-year term, other judges are appointed for life. Judges may be removed from office by the Queen's representative on the recommendation of an investigative tribunal and only for inability to perform their office, or for misbehavior. With regard to the legal profession, Ieveta Tonga O. Taitini Short was the first Cook Islander to establish a law practice in 1968. He would later become a cabinet minister and high commissioner for the Cook Islands. The 1999 election produced a hung parliament. Cook Islands party leader Geoffrey Henry remained prime minister, but was replaced after a month by Joe Williams following a coalition realignment. A further realignment three months later saw Williams replaced by Democratic Party leader Terapai Maui. A third realignment saw Maui replaced midterm by his deputy Robert Woonton in 2002, who ruled with the backing of the SIP. The Democratic Party won a majority in the 2004 election, but Woonan lost his seat and was replaced by Jim Marurai. In 2005 Marurai left the Democrats due to an internal disputes, founding his own Cook Islands First Party. 
He continued to govern with the support of the SIP, but in 2005 returned to the Democrats. The loss of several by-elections forced a snap election in 2006, which produced a solid majority for the Democrats and saw Mara Orai continue as Prime Minister. In December 2009, Mara Orai sacked his Deputy Prime Minister, Tarapai Maui, sparking a mass resignation of Democratic Party cabinet members he and new Deputy Prime Minister Robert Wigmore were subsequently expelled from the Democratic Party. Mara Orai appointed three junior members of the Democratic Party to cabinet, but on December 31, 2009 the party withdrew its support. In May 2014 a new party was formed by Tina Bishop of Aitataki One Cook Islands Party. Thanks for watching.